Barbara. Welcome to my kitchen. This is my sister Beverly and my brother Steve. And in today's episode of Cooking with Love, we're going to be doing some more appetizers. In a previous episode, we showed you how to make five quick and easy appetizers. On today's episode, we're going to be showing you three Italian traditional appetizers. I'm going to be making my mother-in-law's antipasto. My sister's going to be making Italian wedding soup. And my brother Steve is going to be making Sicilian clams oregano. Now in the Italian tradition, a formal meal actually consists of seven courses. Uh, the very first course is an aperitivo, which typically is a, a drink and uh, maybe some olives or cheese or nuts uh, to stimulate the appetite. Uh, then you would have the antipasta, uh, a little bit heavier than the aperitivo. Uh, but also used to, uh, to get your appetite going. And then there's the first course. And the first course typically would consist of a, a soup or a pasta or a, a light seafood dish or even a light meat dish. And uh, for our first course today, Barbara's gonna be showing you how to make the Italian wedding soup. And it's called Italian wedding soup because it's served at every traditional Italian wedding you go to. And uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make a very traditional Sicilian dish, uh, clams oregano. The ingredients for the Italian wedding soup are chopped meat. This is meatloaf mix I'm using today, which is a mixture of beef, pork, and veal. You can use whatever meat you like. You can use beef, you can use turkey, you can use chicken, plain veal, whatever you like. I'm also going to add cream, one egg, salt and pepper, fresh chopped parsley, fresh grated cheese, breadcrumbs, and garlic in the meatballs. For the soup, we're going to use a mixture of celery, onion, and carrots I finely chopped. I have fresh escarole that has to be washed very well. Uh, you don't want to have any sand or anything in it, so you really wash it well, or else you can use fresh spinach in your soup. I'm also going to use chicken stock and chicken broth combined. You can use just chicken stock or broth if you'd like. And that's all there is to it, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is to put the soup together. I'm going to start by putting a couple tablespoons of olive oil in a heavy pan. And then we're going to let that warm up and then we're going to add our we're going to add our celery, onions and carrots and start sauteing that about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes until they start getting translucent, the onions. I think we're about ready to add the chicken broth. Our onions are translucent and they're starting to cook. Now we'll let this simmer until the carrots and um, celery are cooked through and then we can add our meatballs. In the meantime, I'm going to start my water for the pasta. Uh, we like to add a little bit of pasta. It could be orzo, ditalini, accini di pepe, any small fine pasta. And we'll boil that till al dente and then we will add it to our bowl of soup. Uh, some people don't like any pasta at all, but I'm going to add pasta today. In the meantime, while this is cooking, we're going to make our meatballs. All right, let's start with the meatballs. We're going to add all the ingredients together. Garlic, breadcrumbs, parsley, a little bit of salt and pepper. Add my egg, which I've slightly beaten to make it easier to mix. The grated cheese and my cream. I'm 
we just mix it all together and then we'll start forming our meatballs. All right, this looks good. You don't want to over mix your chopped meat or the meatballs will be tough. All right, now you want your meatballs to be about one inch. And I put them on parchment paper. There's a couple ways to cook your meatballs. You can either drop them in whole in the soup and let them cook that way, or you can bake them in the oven, or you can fry them a little. I like to just drop them in the soup. If your hands get too sticky, you could just put cold water, you know, rinse them with cold water. At this point, our carrots and celery are just about done. So I'm going to add the meatballs to the soup and they'll continue cooking. Our soup is just about done. Looking good. The last step is to add the escarole. I'm going to chop it into small pieces and add it right to the soup. And it'll be done in a matter of minutes at this point. We want the escarole to soften. and our soup will be done. Now it's time to take a look at the soup and it does look very good. We're going to plate it. I have some of the pasta in a bowl. And I'm gonna start ladling the broth. And a little bit of the meatballs and the escarole and vegetables. You can add some grated cheese to the top and some people like to drizzle a little olive oil to finish it off. I'm going to show you how to make the uh, Sicilian dish clams oregano. To, uh, to make this dish, the first thing you need are some clams. Now, I'm doing it the easy way, and I'm not going to prepare fresh clams. I bought uh, minced clams that come in a can. So I take the, uh, the minced clams with the clam juice. Um, I have seasoned breadcrumbs. I have Parmesan cheese. I have some uh, homemade tomato sauce, olive oil. We have chopped parsley, minced garlic. We have salt, oregano. I like to put some uh, hot red pepper in it. I like mine a little spicy, this is optional. And black pepper. Now, since I'm not using fresh clams, I have uh, clam shells that we've made from previous dishes. Uh, these are quahog clams, and uh, they're, they're a good size. And I've also purchased these. These are very inexpensive. They're about a dollar each. They're stainless steel. You can put them in your dishwasher in between uses and uh, make sure that they're sterilized. So I'm going to be using a combination of some uh, leftover clam shells and some of these artificial stainless steel ones. I just want to mention now, if you are going to use fresh clams, it's a little bit more work. Uh, the process in order to, uh, to prepare your fresh clams is that you're going to take your clam, you need to scour the, top, the surface of the clam with a brush, rinse it off really, really well. Then you're going to put all your clams into a pot of cold water. You're going to add some salt and some cornmeal. And you want the clams to sit in that cold water for two or three hours. You want them to eat the cornmeal and they're going to purge out the dirt, the sand and dirt uh, that's inside them. And uh, sometimes you have to do that twice to really get the clams clean. Once the clams have purged and are, are cleaned out, you're going to put them into another pot, a fresh pot, uh, with about an inch of water, bring it to a boil, cover it, and let them steam for about 10 minutes. Any clam after steaming that doesn't open is dead. It's no good. Throw it out. Uh, the ones that have opened, you need to uh, use a knife to scrape the clam meat out of the shell and then you're going to dice up the clam meat. 
Uh, if there is any black gook left inside of the clam, you want to uh, get rid of that. Uh, that's clam poop and uh, you don't want to eat that. So just uh, slice open the clam and rinse that all away. All right, let's uh, put our clams uh, oregano together. I'm going to combine all our ingredients now. First thing I do is put the seasoned breadcrumbs, the Parmesan cheese, garlic, Salt, the black pepper, crushed red pepper, oregano, parsley, we're going to use a quarter cup of olive oil. some sauce, and then our clams with the juice. And we're going to mix this until it comes together. It's, to, oops, it's, it's together now. And I'm going to fill the clam shells. This quantity is, is enough for 12 shells that are filled nicely, or if you want to stretch it, you probably uh, get 15 shells out of it. Uh, but I like my uh, clam shells to be filled. Now that our uh, shells are all filled, we're going to go back and just put a little bit of sauce on the top of each one. And we're going to sprinkle a little bit of oregano. On each one. All right, I'm just going to finish the rest of them and we'll be ready to put them in the oven. The clams are ready for the oven. The oven's been preheated to 375 and they go in for about 45 minutes. The ingredients to make the antipast are Italian tuna fish in olive oil, pepper salad, sweet pepper strips, marinated mushroom, marinated eggplant, olives with pimento, marinated artichoke, prosciutto, Genoa salami, and extra sharp provolone sliced thinly. I have drained all the ingredients except for the pepper salad and the tuna fish which has been packed in the olive oil. We're going to put them all in the bowl now. And then you want to mix them all together 
and let it marinate. You can keep this in the refrigerator for several days, but when you do serve it, you want it to be room temperature. So we're going to mix this together and refrigerate for a little bit. After it's all mixed, we're going to start to roll our cold cuts to put on a platter and we're going to serve this with, some, with a nice loaf of Italian bread sliced. We're going to roll our cold cuts now. So what you want to do to make a nice pretty presentation is to roll them like this and arrange them neatly on a platter. And now for the taste test. I'm going to be trying Barbara's soup. Mm. It's delicious, Barbara. Thank you. It's comforting. It's very, very tasty and delicious. Glad you like it. Thank you. I'm going to be trying my brother's stuffed clams. Very good. Well, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Very good. I'm uh, <clears throat> eating the antipasto. The uh, antipasto is a, just such a wonderful blend of flavors and tastes. Uh, this really screams holiday to me, uh, having this typically at, uh, at uh, uh, Christmas time. Feels like a holiday right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wish everyone were here. The peppers, the olives, the tuna fish, the olive oil, the prosciutto is delicious. Mm. Everything is really good, Beth. Thank you very much. Let's eat. We're going to enjoy our appetizers, and we'll see you next time on Cooking with Love. Bye-bye. All right. Welcome to our, no, start again. Yeah. I shouldn't say my All right, our clams, oh, I said all right. <laughs> Prosciutto, Genoa salami, and provolone, pr provolone sliced thinly. I screwed up the provolone.